Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Libra. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Libra, we begin your reading today with the Four of Air card. And the Four of Air is um, coming across today as you just kind of needing a break or a time out. It's like you just want to sit this one out for a while. Um, be, you know, on your own, in your own energy. Almost this um, feeling of needing to regroup your own your own energy back into yourself. You know, just some t kind of like the hermit, but more just, um, you know, not a seeking energy, like, you know, seeking answers or seeking wisdom, but more just needing uh, a respite, needing a break from the second card out, the Hierophant energy. It's like um, from institution, from structure, from your job, there's some kind of an energy that's coming through here as really, you know, regimented, routine. You know, you need a break from the routine. You're just needing a time out. This is all feeling like too much for you right now and you're just, you're just wanting to step out of it. Um, with the three of fire and the page of fire out next, this is very much indicative of the desire to, um, just kind of head out of Dodge, get out of Dodge, take a break, go on a vacation. Um, it's almost like a, like an energy that's, that's calling you out to, to, you know, with the king of fire out next, I believe this is you Libra kind of, you know, you're looking at. You're looking at these possibilities. You're imagining, you're imagining the potential out there. It's, you know, absolutely lighting you up. You're just kind of sitting back and daydreaming about, oh man, I wish I could just travel, take a break, go somewhere, discover something new. Be in it. The page of fire to me is, is often, um, my card for, uh, arriving in an absolutely new landscape, um, a new terrain, a new adventure, and being greeted by this this figure here. She's like she's like this guide um, greeting you at the airport or you know at the seaside and saying, "I'm I'm so happy you're here. Let me show you around." So it, you know both of these cards have this kind of really um, imaginative energy. I I believe this is you. This is you daydreaming about where you could go and what you could do as this King of Fire just. Um, uh, it's lighting, like I said, it's lighting you up. Your heart just lights up. Everything about you lights up. It, it, it brings this warmth over you. Just imagining this with the world card out after the King of Fire here. It's like, you're just, you're just really wanting to take a vacation. Libra is the sense that I'm getting. You just, you just need to get away. And so you're spending a lot of time in this energy or under this energy daydream. It's like you're sitting it's like you're sitting in a cubicle, looking right past the cubicle wall and seeing this gorgeous traveling the world, completely new experience, completely new experience. It's like you don't even see, it's like you don't even see this. It's trying to block your view, but it's like you're just lost in daydream. You're not, you're almost not even aware that this exists anymore. You're just so ready to go. So, but interestingly, the Queen of Fire came out next, and she was coming up as a as a, as a block to this to this exit. It's almost like she's standing in the in the threshold in the doorway, saying, "Where do you think you're going?" It's like it's like the boss stepping in, saying, "What are you doing, daydreaming in your cubicle with the with the wheels of fortune, the wheel of fortune out next?" Like this is this is that energy that's calling you. This is like an alarm an alarm going off, an inner alarm going off saying like this, I need to escape. I need to get out of here. This real call need to escape, but she quickly steps in and tries to, to block it. And then the queen of earth comes in as well. It's like they're, they're this escape hatch. You can see these little faces through there. It's like, the, it's like there's this escape hatch. You're daydreaming about escaping. And these energies, and interestingly, the Hierophant came out on top too, above this. So this this um, this wheel of fortune, this escape hatch, is completely surrounded and blocked in by 
like the, these kind of judging energies, these like, where do you think you're going? You have responsibilities and duties here. You can't just take off across the world on some silly adventure. You've got work to do, but you, your eye is absolutely on the prize here. And it's like, you're considering weighing the risks and the consequences of just going for it. And, and it's like you, it's like you're going to have to, you know, almost like a football player barging through these, these blocking energies and jumping through this escape hatch to get out. It's like you, it's like you have to get past these two to do it, but you're, you're, you're very much getting to the point where, you know, you're, you're, you're eyeing it saying, I don't know. I think, I think I might, I think I might go for it. I think I might go for it. Um, but interestingly, the three of air and the messenger of fire came out next, Libra. And it, to me, this these were coming across as, you know, really kind of this doubting energy. It's like this, these two queens, whoever they are, these bosses or these parents or just these, you know, people who seem to not really want you to have very much fun for whatever reason. They're seeing it as a loss to them somehow. I'm not sure. You know, if this is your boss, of course, they don't want you to cut out of work early. So they have a stake in you not having any fun. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's kind of, it seems like it's impacting you a little bit. Like you're kind of going, well, maybe they're right. And, you know, all of this fire that's calling you, but you're kind of like, it, this, these energies are kind of closing down in on themselves a little bit, like hesitant or you know, unsure and going, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe I should be responsible and stick it out and do my job and all of that stuff. But you're ending the reading here with the 10 of water. Um, you know, this is, this is that, this, all that's lighting you up, all that's calling you away from all of this responsibility and all this judgmental queen energy that's trying to hold you. This Ten of Cups is is beckoning you. It's like it's like your life force is being pulled to. It's only goodness that's that's calling you, and that's part of you know that's what I was getting here at this point is that is that this what's starting to really this alarm bell that seems to be going off for you, Libra. That's really got you kind of turning away from the reality that's in front of you, and you're going inward and just daydreaming about. It's like there's this inner calling that's really starting to get really loud and it's starting to, um, it's starting to, uh, what's the word? You guys know, you guys are probably saying it and I'm, <clears throat> it's infiltrating. It's, it's starting to overshadow, overlight your mundane experience, your, your, your everyday day-to-day -day life. It, you're starting to lose sight of it because you're just getting lost in the daydream. You know, you started the reading with, you got two really daydreamy energies here. Um, you know, kind of inward focused. She's very inward focused. He's kind of just in a trance daydream. It's all this fiery energy too, right? Like it's, it's really, it's really calling you. This fire is really calling you and beckoning you. It's, I think it's getting really, really loud. I think you're going to go for it. I think you absolutely should go for it. Because like I was about to say, I don't think that it's just you, um, you know, wanting to take a vacation around the world. It's more, it's, it's more, it has more to do with your soul and, and nourishment of your soul and being able to you know, break out of this, this regiment and do more on a regular basis of what really lights you up, you know, to follow your actual path and your, your purpose through life and not have like, there's all these energies here. These energies here are really like trying to block that, that I see, cause I see this sometimes as, as a doorway as well, like a threshold. It's like these energies here this regimented reasoning every day, day to day responsibility is could be your own, your own reasoning mind, you know, almost at war with your imaginative, you know, how good could life really be side. And you know, it's like you're, it's like you're, 
which way are you going to go? Are you going to are you going to stick with Are you going to stick with the left brain or are you going to go with the right brain? I hope that I have that right, left brain or right brain, which is which. You know what I mean? So, um anyways, Libra, I'm going to continue to pull cards, but like I said, I I really have a feeling that this has a lot more to do with with uh your your true essence wanting to be expressed in the world rather than it that it has to do with just taking off on a vacation or going to lay on a beach somewhere. Although it kind of looks like that here in these cards. It's like it's like you're just wanting to to take a break. If that's how it's feeling to you, if it's if it's expressing in your life at this moment as you just need a vacation, you just need an escape for now. I think what's really going to start coming out if you do, if you do jump through jump through the ring of fire and escape through the escape escape hatch. I think very quickly, once you get, you know, when, like I said, once you gather your energy back in around yourself, you're going to realize that that was the need to just go lay on a beach was really just the door opening. It's like, it's like the, the light just starting to crack in, leading you to really a, a much deeper, soulful experience of life in general, just like breaking away from, from the routine and, and kind of you know, finding your own path, your own, your own real true path. But it has to begin with getting past these gatekeepers, you know, sidestepping these gatekeepers and getting out, out of, out of here. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, Libra. If this resonates with you and you want to see how the story unfolds further, link is in the description box for the extended. And if not, I'll see you next time, Libra. Thanks. Bye.